Hey guys, Lucy here. In today's class, I want to take a look at making a pair of Toblerone chocolate inspired hoop earrings. So first of all, we're going to have a look at how to make your own triangular profile wire. We're going to have a look at how to make the perfect hoop shape every single time. And then we're going to get to using our radiograph paper to make sure that we're getting a real even layout for our design. Alrighty, enough waffle. Let's chop chop and get making these earrings. But I don't want to solder it directly here. I want to get a bit more of a stronger join. So what I'm going to do is use a one millimeter ball burr to create a small divot that our post can sit in. And first of all, we're going to add a little mark where we want that post to go. Then add a little lubrication to the burr and carefully touch the burr to that point. And here I'm cutting about one tenth or so of a millimeter into the flat end of my hoop. Now, not only will this make for a much stronger solder join, but it's also going to make setting up for soldering a lot easier too. And that is what we're going to do right now. I have my hoop held in cross locking tweezers with the end that has that little divot at the three o'clock position. So basically the flat spot on the end is perfectly horizontal at this stage. Now let's shift this out of the way and grab our earring post, which is also held in cross locking tweezers. And I have a tiny bit of hard solder at the ready here. So the first thing we're going to do is add some flux to the post. And I'm going to use my Durst and Butane torch for this, just to show you that you can. Um, what I'm going to do is heat the solder and then touch the post to the solder to allow the solder to flow onto the post. But as soon as it flows, take off the heat, okay? Then we'll bring back the hoop and add a little flux to that too. And I'm going to balance my tweezers holding the post on a charcoal block to allow gravity to pull the post downward so it's resting in that little divot with a little pressure. And we need to make sure that it is sitting in there perfectly straight. So I'm just going to pop a piece of copper under the end of my tweezers here just to help chew that up. All right, let's do this. Torch lit. And I'm going to start out by heating the half of the hoop that's closest to the post here. We've got pretty thin wire, so this should work without having to heat the whole thing. But what I'm doing is kind of drawing or, or pushing the heat up the wire towards the very end where the post is. And I'm only going to focus the heat on the very end of the hoop. I don't need to try and focus on the post here at all. Then, as soon as you see that flash, get out. And there we go. Let's just get you into the pickle. 